Okay, so we're live here on the Higher Self Expo Facebook and YouTube page. Thank you to everyone who is watching. Thank you, William, for joining us today. William Linville is one of the speakers on our <clears throat> upcoming conference, which will be online on the 17th and 18th of July under the theme where science meets spirituality. So we are now introducing our speakers and it's a great pleasure to have William Linville with the European thread, though William lives in the United States. <laughs> and William, thank you. Thank you so much for this honor. Oh, and thank you so much, Tanya. This is going to be so much fun and such a blast and raising consciousness, accessing, activating the mind, the body, the aura, and then your soul level, but also your pure consciousness, your pure creator attributes, which is really having a lot of fun, such as with superseding mind over matter, which is to be one of my topics, transcending magnetics. Well, it's so interesting, isn't it? Um, it goes all the way back to you know, your what you perceive is what you believe rather than who you are, which transcends beliefs, the mind, the subpsyche, um, the emotional calibrational lattice work that's been so magnetically affecting your live stream, so magnetically taking a toll, taking a ride with your consciousness. And that's why you're presented with, okay, this is going on, that's going on, that's going on. And then I feel good enough, lovable, not lovable. And this is what I'm portraying and projecting into the outside world from the mind in the sub psyche rather than, rather than really your true essence, which is through. Mm. Yes, it, because even not only your topic uh, aligns with, with uh, where science meets spirituality topic of the, of the theme, but you being, and as you describe, yourself, the, a divine presence of clear creator consciousness. Could you please introduce that further about who you are and, and what you're, why you are here on earth with us? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. <clears throat> it, what it is as clear consciousness is that there's no perceptions, there's no belief systems, there's no hidden agendas. There's nothing really to gain, to lose. There's no filtration of having to perceive to be a this or a that, or you have a male structure. So here comes another 25 uh, books of rules. Well, it's okay. where you're that true integrated in body beyond the masculine and the feminine as a clear and perfect conduit of divine love and truth, regardless culture, color, creed, regardless gender, regardless religion, blah, blah, blah. It said none of it really matters. And how we go there to, it's really how best can I assist anyone and everyone as yeah. it comes forth. And then as an instrument and as a conduit, how you're able to move forth, run forth. But yet you don't get into these tiny little snags. You don't get yeah. into all these tiny little identifications of what should be, shouldn't be, how it works, doesn't work. Mm -hmm. The filtration of the mind and all the way to the, the carnal primal levels of survival and existence. There's none of that to let run your live stream. It's like, I may have a home. I may have this much abundance. I may have this label title as in a profession, but there's still, okay, it's what I do. It's not who I am. Mm. And then you go beyond that to really being able to identify, recognize, um, more about you, you, not what you've been taught, not what you've been told, not what you've been fed, but really opening up, activating, accessing, and amplifying into what truly is, rather than trying to live up to this, or my father's father's father was a Lutheran, blah, blah, blah. It's mm -hmm. who are you? And then walking through that to accelerate and accelerate, but also open you up to the heart of all that is, the one communion within and through you as your higher levels marrying with the lower levels. So the, the real you marrying all the way through, of course, the crown, third eye, throat, and then going in the heart and then going into raising up the root, your crater circle vortex and the, the solar plexus to where we have one instantaneous conduit, not all these split pieces and parts, and then clearing out the Akashic record realms, clearing out the soul level 
attributes that have also been still affecting magnetically your experiences in a body on a planet to where you're able to supersede, overcome, grow upon, grow beyond it, and really accelerating and quantum leaping, you know, as quickly as you can handle for your highest, best good. Not that there's like an end-all destination, because once you're fully married and integrated, now the games begin. Mm -hmm. The fun takes off. Yeah, then, then it's a whole different experience. Oh, so completely. basically, it's being free. Totally. And things happen around. It is what it is. But it doesn't define you it doesn't own you it doesn't create reactions or mm -hmm. actions because of what is it's more like hmm, all right well, let's move on with our day <laughs> yes exactly just accept and move on and and just flow as as experiences come our way and allow the perception to shape itself moment to moment exactly and then you know Compassion, not empathy or sympathy, but true compassion. Mm. Of I really wish that was happening. That was. I really wish that wasn't happening. But because it is, where would you like to go from here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, complete acceptance. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely. Wow, uh -huh. it will be so exciting to listen to what you have to share during the the expo. Um, I think I said at the beginning, we're going on for 24 hours, or I didn't, well, so I'm saying it now, mm -hmm. 24 hours straight for the very first time. So this is the fourth Higher Self Expo, yes. and there will be three threads, one starting in the United States, then going on to Australia, and then coming on to Europe for two days, which mm -hmm. in this case is 24 hours. So it's a unique kind of event in which we will have a large diversity of wisdom shared from many different fields of expertise and also, of course, of experience and wisdom. So where science meets spirituality is the theme for this time. So each Higher Self Expo so far has had a different theme. And this time we will be having around 33 speakers. And I mean, I'm, I just, I, I don't know how, but I'll try and just stay awake for the whole 24 hours <laughs> and follow all of the streams because with so much wisdom coming on, it will be hard to go off and, and just go to sleep. So it will be like a, a wisdom party going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the acceleration of vibratory levels that yes. makes you seem like a blink of an eye. Right, exactly. Would you like to share, William, what people can find if they go to your website? Well, there's many different things. We have our monthly events. It's, it's a webcast and uh, a phone event. So one, you can see, you can go in the chat room, so forth and so forth. And then we also have a page of library um, really pertaining to any and every topic. You can access that. And then we also have products. And then we have, like right now, we're in the middle of, it's like a series. I mean, you can join it anytime. It's called, um, well, one is the podcast, but then we have explorations, which really goes into exploring you, exploring what is, and superseding, overcoming, going beyond, as well as turning on the light bulb, bulbs, waking mm -hmm. up, speeding up the vibratory levels of yourself and your body principle. Mm -hmm. And then from there, like I mentioned, we're, we're, we have a podcast series called The Relevance of Now that is downloadable or whatever it calls to you. And then a place where you can schedule private one-on-ones or energy work from a distance. Mm -hmm. So there's so much there. And then there's a little bit about my journey and then my angel, my bride's in my journey to get to where we are now. And then there's books and all kinds of other things that she and I wrote, the relationships book. Then there's uh, your divine abilities, which is helping you access and connect with yourself. And then there's other, through chat rooms, things like that, others that you can connect with to where, you know, where it's what I've ran into a lot and what I've seen and witnessed is so many feel 
or perceived. They're all alone on their own journey in this, mm. on this planet. And they go out into public and they might as well be have five heads or something it, from the way they feel or way they perceive it to be. But the reality is that there's so much more in so much more dear ones that are awake now rather than mm. and just at different stages, but also all these different levels where, you know, there's all this accessibility to others that you can connect with and resonate with the, you can go on Facebook, you can go to anywhere um, where we're at at least. And there there's, it's not a following because I don't accept followings. I'm, I'm not another Buddha. I'm myself. Hmm. So it's more about lifting you up to walk side by side as a whole. Hmm. Wow. Amazing. Such wonderful work you're bringing forth for the good of all. Could you just before before we leave, just expand a little bit about the light body? Yeah, the light body is so beautiful because if you were to get the most powerful microscope and everything else into go down to the nucleus of the cells all the way through the particles between the different elements of the nucleuses of the cells, what we have here is total light. It's actually the whole blueprint of the whole universe through the molecular structure. Now, what happens is when you're waking up and as you're waking up, you're taking a breath. You're saying, you know what? And everyone has this. There's something here that does, just doesn't seem right, per se. Something here that, gosh, I'm being told this, told that. People I love, honor, respect. But gosh, there still seems to be something off. Well, this is where the light bulb starts going on. And I would encourage you to constantly follow it, question it. I would ask you to question everything, including myself, because it's not about me. It's about you finding you, because that's where the acceleration due to magnetics that are going to break down and shatter all the misperceptions that have been held on to, boxed into from the, the creation of the ego structure and emotion. Now, the more you start, I'll call it free yourself or just letting yourself be free. You're already that which you are. Now we're accelerating to higher octaves of consciousness and bringing down your the rest of yourself, literally. They call it the higher self and creator carnate and so forth. So you're letting the two marry together and to are eventually you're fully married to where it's not about male, female. It's not about I was in this life, that life. It's more right here, right now. And then the polarity split and you come out as this most majestic rose emanating of light to where then your light bodies can, it's kind of interesting. The body speeds up, your light bodies decelerate to where there's a marriage and it inter melts with each other and intermeshes to where now your whole body begins to reach those higher octaves. And then we get into you know, whether it be teletransportation, whether it be bilocating, I mean, whatever label we want, but the reality is that you're no longer bound by the primal physical flesh. You're not mm. leaving your body to go there. You're, the whole point is bring all of you through the body. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. It's just realizing that you are not limited by physical form or by anything because you are this limit limitless being of wholeness, basically, mm -hmm. even and in the physical body. In pure light and pure love, mm. until yeah. you were taught differently. Thank you so much for sharing this short snippet of the more that you will be bringing forth during the mm -hmm. Higher <laughs> Self Expo. It has been a pleasure to listen to you and to have you here with us. Is there anything else you would like to leave here as a final a final comment, a final invitation, whatever? Well, I'm just so excited to get to be a part of this beautiful unfoldment and being also a part of all the brilliant um, facilitators um, that are coming on board to assist Brother Humanity as a whole. Thank wow. you, thank you. We've got some comments here. We have Lauren who says she really loves your work. Thank you. So, mm -hmm. and then we've got Catarina from Portugal. Oh, and she also thanks you for your words because it is of course precious to have also others that can guide us to that unlimited self that we <laughs> truly are. 
Thank you. Thank you, Katarina. Thank you to everyone else who's watching. And thank you to Zane for creating this. Zane Daniel is the creator of the Higher Self Expo. And um, I'm very honored to be here this time. It's my very first time as a host, as a co-host with Rui Vasquez from the Live With Earth project, who is also in Portugal and we will be co-hosting in the Europe uh, thread. So also thank you to all of my other co-hosts, in this case, Geraldine in the United States, Karen, um, Swain in, in Australia, and Steve as well. So see you very soon, William, again here on the 18th of July. And meanwhile, thank you for keeping on spreading that wonderful radiance that is permanently present through you. Well, and thank you. And to you too. I'm so excited. And thank you for thank you for the beautiful opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So